Hi friends. I found a book in my grandkids playroom today that I just love. I would love to share this book with you. But before we start reading the book, um, I'd also like to share a poem with you. And this poem um, was first taught to me by my grandmother and I just, I have very fond memories of doing this with my grandmother. You have to use your hands so if you want to join me, kind of lace your fingers together, put your fingers on the inside and then fold your hands. And then you say, this, here is the church and here is the steeple. Open the door and see all the people. That's what this story is about today. This is called, This is the Church. And I can sit somewhere a little better so that you can see the pictures and read along with me. This is the church. There's a little rhyme that children say, a song they sing sometimes when they play. This rhyme is about God's family. To do it, just move your hands like me. Here is the church, here is the steeple. Open the door and see all the people. What a great rhyme, isn't it neat? But wait, this story is not complete. There's more to the church than just those two lines. To learn about God's family, let's add this to the rhyme. Some churches are so big and wide, 10,000 people can fit inside. Other churches are really quite small. They fit just a few people and that is all. Some people have church right where they are, right in their houses. That's not very far. Kind of like we're doing here on stay-at-home orders. And not all churches have roofs and floors. Some don't have steeples. Some don't have doors. Some people have church under the stars and God comes and meets them right where they are. And in places where it's not safe to be found, some people even have church underground. And church isn't something that stands still, you know. The church follows God's people wherever they go. The church moves in buses, planes, and cars. To share God's love, the church has gone far. The church works among the sick, hungry, and poor, with people in need, wherever they are. It's gone to the cities, it's gone to towns, to work and to school, the church gets around. But how does this work? How can this be? Can a church really move like you and me? That's the secret. It certainly can. Church moves through your feet. It works through your hands. The people are the church, don't you see? Church is a word for God's family. Because Jesus said, where there are two or three who gather in my name, that's where I'll be. So let's go back to the old rhyme now. Get your hands ready. We'll show you how. Here is a building. It may have a steeple. But where is the church? The church is the people. On this day, the church welcomes you. You're part of God's people. You're the church too. Wasn't that a great story? I love that. Because church is the people. I know this is a very strange time for you right now because we can't go to our church building and we can't go to Sunday school and we can't color on coloring sheets and activity sheets on our playground in the sanctuary. But just know that wherever we worship, God is with us. God follows us around in our everyday lives. So I can hardly wait to see you again in church, but in the meantime, let's keep watching our worship services online and keep hearing stories and doing online Sunday school. I miss you and I'll see you soon. Bye.